Instagram. Yeah, you will see if he works on Instagram. Let's get to know more. Adriana is appeared on Facebook already. And now on the, on the Instagram, yes, you can request. Yeah. Did you okay. receive a, a message saying request? Yeah. If you press on that, and then, yeah, view here, and then go live. Let's see if you are appearing. <laughs> I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a very strange sound. Okay, okay. And we're switching off the, the laptop. We were trying to do simultaneously on Facebook and on Instagram. But anyway, here's Adriana Yelinkova. Hi. <laughs> Ciao, Adriana. Ciao. Any congratulations on what you showed us yesterday? We, we knew it already, but uh, <laughs> until you don't do it, yeah, people don't know. So what's happening this morning? Lots of phone calls suddenly? Yes, yes. I've, I've, been, I've been on the phone all morning, so yeah. Wow, well, suddenly yeah. the world's going to know your name, as the song says. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe yeah. lift up a little bit of the camera. You got, I can see all of you from here. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Okay, that's working. So Adriana just showed yesterday that eventually Petra Vlova can be beaten this season. Right? <laughs> she still ended up winning the race, but uh, well yeah. done. That was that was fantastic. Very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And then, so you, do you like the parallel slalom? Is a discipline that you like doing or? Uh, um yeah i mean it, it was the first time for me like um parallel gs was the first time for me i actually yeah i actually have to say that it was it, that was fun i mean obviously because uh it it went well then obviously i liked it but uh, for me it was the very first time so i was very excited to get to know the discipline and yeah i i mean as a small kid i always enjoyed doing parallel stuff because it's it's fun it's different so uh yeah I, I i had a lot of fun and i think the slope was also in a very good uh state so yeah it's it's i i found it really fun yeah yeah in the, in the end uh you know we all a bit concerned about the, the safety of it you know because you're racing yeah. close to each other yeah. but yeah. um in the end it's quite spectacular it's exciting to watch also for people that are not in the in the know you know skiing so they uh mm -hmm. They can really yeah. see, you know, it's evident who's going to be winning. Although yeah. yesterday was a surprise by the last three gates and the blue course. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah so unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, what about the starting gates? Did you find it hard to get used to? Um. Well, yes, but I, I knew I, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have so much chance to get used to it. So. Uh, I, I trained it only so only we had only one day like doing it so maybe I did it like 10 times uh, and then because of corona everything closed here so then I I didn't have the chance to train it but I never had so it was it was going better and better and uh, yeah and when I was against Petra then I mean I was taking a bit more risks because in the first run actually I was going a bit against the start gate but it it were actually my best start so far and I was just happy with that because yeah I did my best so yeah but it was fun yeah, to quite, do so. but if you if you start pushing slightly earlier then you bounce against it and you go behind Again, back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly I mean I don't really have a tactic on that because I haven't trained it but uh for me for me it was always um I'm rather a little bit late than too early because then you're stopped but on the other hand I I knew even while the qualification race, I was actually always losing two tenths there or like 1500. So I knew that. And I, I was thinking like before the real race on the evening, I was thinking like, okay, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to improve because I knew the first few gates also I was losing and I really, yeah, I really made a plan for myself and uh, yeah, it worked out. So 
it was yeah so i was really i was happy with that so yeah and plus also what have i done here wait <laughs> And plus, all the time being against uh, Peta, she's got big arms and she's really strong, so... <laughs> yeah, she's in a really good form and we've been yeah. training together uh, the last uh, last week, like before Levy. Uh, we had some days together and uh, I mean, she's she's doing really good and she's like, she's amazing. I have like huge respect. I mean, congrats to her. And uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> I mean, I took it as a challenge that I... Uh, got her again because uh, last year in the parallel uh, I also got her but this time I thought okay this time is GS and um, I'm certainly uh, kind of like stronger in GS so I thought like okay you know it doesn't it doesn't mean that she has won already because I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fight you know so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and plus the, the parallel slum is proving to be a, an opportunity to take and you took it yeah. see exactly yeah, you took it. yeah. You took it. exactly yeah. even last year we saw with the it was Clara Di Rea, was some of the French girls. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It yeah. might happen, I'm not in the top, you know, she gets Yeah, she gets it's through. interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting how some girls didn't get in and other girls got in. And I mean, like Paula Mozan and uh, uh, various other girls. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. It mixes a bit. Um, I had my thoughts too when I saw Sestriere uh, the last time, last season. I was sick, so I couldn't participate. I was a bit uh, scared for like safety reasons as well, like you were saying. But I think this time nothing happened, I hope. So far, yeah. I didn't hear anything. And I'm in slow. I'm like, these parallel races, everything can happen if one, if one crashes, you know, like, she can like the other one can crash into, into the other one so i yeah i mean about safety yeah. reasons yeah i'm just happy no but good for and how did you find out you're using the, the gs keys sorry yes keys parallel how did you find with the gs keys because that's what it changes now uh yeah um it was a concern of mine before because they're long and it feels very uncomfortable um, having the gate so near so for me even going into the qualification I was like okay I, I didn't really have a tactic because it, it looks so uh, so tight when you're in the start gate so yep. that was a bit uh, of a like it's kind of scary in a way but then after a while or after first and second run it felt actually way easier than I thought it would be. So I don't know if this was only my feeling, but for me, it was actually a huge surprise that it was going so well. So I, it was doable. It was really doable to carve. So yeah, yeah. I was surprised. I was surprised. It doesn't look there is many much uh, snow around over there. Huh? But, uh, the no, no. There, okay? Yeah, no, there was basically just a race hill and a little hill to warm up a bit. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, if everybody has the same, then it's, you know, it is how it is, so, yeah. Okay, so a little bit of your story for people that don't know you. You are 25 years old, born in Brno. <laughs> Did you yes. say right? Hey, Brno. Yeah. Yes. And so then um, moved to the Netherlands. Exactly. Well, I, well, moved, yeah. I, I basically... Uh, my parents already lived in the Netherlands back then and it was actually um, not planned that I would yeah that I would have been born in the Czech Republic I was born a bit too early so uh, yeah it, it just makes my storyline a bit more interesting so I, I mean I find it yeah. fun yeah you, you wanted to go fast since the beginning you always wanted to go fast <laughs> yeah of course always fast even even doing exams <laughs> I wanted to be the fastest one even if it was you know about doing it right but sometimes i was just like, okay i'm done but you know an exam yeah. should you know should take your time so yeah yeah because now you now you are studying university at the same time yeah yeah i'm attending in uh, innsbruck in the university just basic university um it's hard to find something to combine with skiing but um i found something and uh i can combine it and this is one little advantage with corona that my seminars are online, which usually they would not be online and I would have a issue at the moment, but now I'm actually, yeah, uh, doing that. So I, it might be possible that next semester I could do my bachelor degree. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really good for me. I'm a really, uh, 
thinking kind of person. So I, I, I love to study and yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, well done. You see, there are some positive aspects of uh, this coronavirus. Yes. Only a few. This is one yeah, of those, yeah. I, I think this is, this is the only one I can find, but uh, in, for my perspective, but yeah, I'm taking yeah. this. I'm really happy about that, that it's online, so. And then the skiing uh, started in the Netherlands, so the start, you decided to go to, how did it happen to go to Austria? And... Um, shortly said, or uh, my mom was a huge skiing fan, but both both of my parents actually. Uh, my mom used to race herself, and uh, but with my parents, we always went to Austria or Czech Republic, um, mostly to go on vacation, like to Sankt Anton, and you know I have pictures like uh, we were skiing. And uh, yeah, and then I basically, by coincidence, met my first coach in Austria, actually. I was six years old and my mom didn't even want me to compete races because she knew how hard it would be. And I mean, yeah, you know, we were Dutch, so she knew herself, you know, if you don't have money and support, it's really hard. Um, but yeah, my, my dad kind of got, got me into it and uh, I started racing and I, I had talent and everybody, my mom wanted to give me a chance. So I started racing and, and yeah. I got really good. And um, yeah, and at 11, I decided to move to Austria because I wanted to follow my dreams. So yeah, that was my move. And my mom was crazy enough to go with me. Yeah. So skiing wise, you grew up with a ski club in Balkastein or where? Um, no, that's... Batkastein is basically where I, where I moved to when I moved to Austria, Batkastein. I went to the Skihochschule Batkastein. Uh, so I still ski for a ski club, indeed. And I have it on my site. But I started racing with a Dutch ski club, actually, with my first coach. That was uh, Ski Pro. Um, he's actually the coach is also Austrian, but he, yeah, but... He lived in the Netherlands, so it was actually funny. Right. So yeah, those yeah. Now the club is not so, but at the moment I only yeah I only have the Austrian ski club on my name. Yeah. So in the Netherlands there is no support like a, an army team or something like we see in the other countries. No, no, unfortunately not. This is what I'm very jealous of, uh, like of uh, the Italian structure, yeah. for example. Even if I know yeah. there are always advantages and disadvantages there, but. The, we don't have anything of that uh so we're basically set on our own and um yeah it's 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 not easy i can tell you that but i mean i i choose it i could i could have skied for the czech republic as well uh which i considered a few times but um i didn't i also could have switched to austrians because i've lived here for a long time but I didn't. So, I mean, it's my, it's been my choice. So I have to live with that. Oh, that that's actually good. You, you open a new way, you know, a yeah. new wave of skiers will hopefully come from, from the Netherlands. And we already see mm -hmm. some kids training pretty hard because uh, I can see what's happening in the race clubs over there. You know, they do a lot of training, dry land. The skiing, of course, is not, you know, they don't have <laughs> ski well, resorts. Like, the, I mean, the Dutch, the Dutch people are known for uh, loving ski racing. Uh, I mean, like skiing, like tourists. So it's just basically the skiing, like ski racing world that's not big and does not have a lot of attention. So, but I have to say, like at this point, uh, at the moment, the ski federation is really trying to get skiing a bit more, ski racing into the picture. And uh, I mean, yeah, and what happened yesterday obviously made a huge impact so far because, I mean, I've got calls I didn't even think about that, but it's been uh, quite a bomb in the Netherlands right now. So that's good because, I, I mean, I need some, uh, I mean, I have some sponsoring or some help, but most of them are actually not Dutch. So um, it's actually funny. So, so it's good that it's like that I'm, yeah, yeah making yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit of a name in the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's, it's good. We always love the up, new up, upcoming, something fresh air coming in, and yeah. particularly from those smaller skiing wise countries. And mm -hmm. also, you are in love with Italy. We see a lot of Italian brands in your equipment. Yeah, that's it's it's uh, it's funny. Yeah, it's it's coincidental. It's yeah. I mean, it's it's not that I'm searching for it, but uh, I mean, very happy and proud to have Energy Pura, for example. Uh, which has been really good to me and um, 
yeah now with the italian ski brand obviously it's yeah i am very proud of it in a way and i mean i love to be in, in italy as well so i mean it's basically one of my favorite countries so yeah i don't know there's some sort of connection there so uh i mean yeah it's so probably you have a, an italian boyfriend no no i don't have an italian boyfriend uh, <laughs> I... not yet not yet be careful boys no. eh? <laughs> yeah so I see that uh, you are, of course, uh, in love with traveling as well. You've been traveling a lot, moving from country to country. Yeah. And uh, how, how would you describe what's uh, one of the best places that you've seen so far? Mm, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, well, I'm, I'll, 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 I'll basically always come back to the same thing. I mean, I don't have to travel so far in order to be happy because i mean i have italy right by my i mean two hours from here i go to innsbruck and i'm in italy i mean i love yeah. the dolomites and i love austria as well i mean i live here it's it's amazing and i i wouldn't want to live somewhere else um but further i mean i've seen some really nice parts in the u.s for example california like squaw valley is yeah. amazing it's beautiful uh and i yeah I love to travel, but I also, yeah, I mean, I don't have to go far for that. I mean, I'm, I'm for sure a fan of Europe. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in the right place, that's for sure. Yeah, that's because you're a bit in, in the heart of everything. You know, you've got the Alps, you've got the, the lakes that you like for going windsurfing, you've got the sea eventually, you know. Yeah. You really have to... that's, that's a good yeah. thing of Europe, you know, everything, you know, because there's not much of exactly. extensive yeah. traveling to do, yeah. And so now, uh, what's uh, besides skiing? What do you like doing? You like doing normal um, girls, going shopping, going city no. life as well? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, no. That for sure not. Uh, I don't live in a city. I wouldn't want to live in a city. I'm a real country girl. I think. No, no. I think. I for sure. I, I mean, I would literally die in a city probably. So I just visit them, to maybe. I mean, to see, but it's too crowdy for me i'm i grew up on the like on the land side everywhere like in the netherlands in austria so uh i love to be in nature uh surrounded by mountains so um right. i'm always moving actually i mean it's hard for me to sit down and not do anything i i enjoy playing tennis uh windsurf i bike i hike i i do a lot of things i i play a bit of music i haven't had a lot of time in my life to do something with music which i miss but i have some people around me that are like real musicians so i've been trying to uh do some things like learning stuff on the guitar and on the drum i have an electrical drum so, All right, so I... one day we play a song together yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes yeah, so, so yeah, yeah that's basically what i do yeah just by following you, you are uh, the representation of the outdoors lover, you know, everything yeah. outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty good. So, well, what advice would you give some, some young kids who want to become good as you are already now? Uh, for sure, dedication. Uh, but mostly, obviously, if you really want something, then like go for it, even if things get hard. But I think this is something that comes naturally. So if you really want something and you love doing something, then you won't just give up after one obstacle. So I mean, I've had a lot of my own obstacles and I've thought about quitting a few times because it was just too hard on me, but I kept on going and it was basically the passion that was, that's driving me. So, I mean, and, and my family and my best friends and, I mean, my my mom, obviously, she's she's my biggest support. Like, without her, I wouldn't be here. So, yeah, I mean, guys, have fun and, and, and follow your dreams. And, you know, how they say, like, uh, dream big, you know. Um, exactly. And, yeah. Like, don't someone, is, someone, someone, is, someone is asking if uh, your trainer is bubbly. Who? Sorry? Someone is asking if your trainer is a bubbly. Bubbly uh, is yeah. the booty. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's my coach. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. And then you got your mom following you as well. Exactly. Yeah, my mom's on the road as well now. She has her own job, so she's traveling with her work. But because 
I don't have a full-time service man and uh, basically just my coach and my mom helping, it's already uh, very hard to to do everything together yeah. because all others have a system or maybe eight other people. And, you know, yeah, it's it's been quite hard on us, actually, because there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, there are a lot of things to do. And, and uh, yeah, those are the details that are often missing also like in my skiing. And yeah, also that's influencing my mental state for sure. But, um, but things we're doing the better. best we can, so. Things will, be things will get better, don't you worry? <laughs> yeah, well, I hope so, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's good to be in a small, small group, you know, a small team like yours. Maybe yeah, for sure, there, there are advantages, so. You're missing a little bit of uh, having a team with other girls to play around, or you get to join to join other teams quite often. Um, I can join others pretty good. We have some good connections, and uh, even now with my coach, he has he knows. I mean, he knows pretty much everybody. So, I mean, there are so many nice girls and athletes, and even even coaches that you know that we train with. And for sure, in these uh, in these times, it's. You, we have to train together. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of snow or a lot of uh, opportunities. So, yeah, I'm always like really, really grateful uh, when I can train with others. So, what is your mindset towards the future races? What are we gonna expect from you? Um, well, hopefully, uh, good runs, good skiing. I, I mean, some good and fast skiing. Um, like I'm doing a, a lot in trainings, uh, for sure in GS. Uh, it would be really nice for myself to uh, manage to put that into a race because uh, that's that's basically what's the most yeah. frustrat frustrating thing. Like, if I can't get it into a race and I know I can do so much better, then that's even more painful. So, I mean, I basically just really want to keep, in, like, yeah, keep enjoying the moments and, and really just go for it without any worries. And then I know I can be really fast. So... Yeah, I I could maybe even talk of like a top fifteen, but I I I don't want to talk about results because I really want to. No, no, exactly, no, no. I just want to know your attitude. You know, if you're going for the win all the time when you start, or if you, you know, because already well, saying basically, yeah, yeah. When some people say you, I want to get into the thirties, you're already putting yourself some limits in your mind. Exactly, yeah. It's 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 very mental the sport, and uh, I've been having a lot of troubles with that as well, because I know what I can do. I'm putting pressure on myself but I'm really trying to get my mind on the right things and on skiing, on my favorite, skiing, so, yeah. Favorite discipline? Uh, well, okay, I, I mean, I like I, I like all disciplines, actually, but um, many people might think GS is my favorite because, I mean, I somehow I, 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 I'm better there or I have some better results. Uh, even if at the World Champs until now my slaloms were better, uh, so, um, also, also the young, didn't you come, uh, did you do a podium in the Olympic junior? Yes, that was, uh, combined. That was super G and, uh, I, yeah, uh, it's, I mean, I like speed as well. And, uh, but it's, I mean, I, I can do everything for sure. Not with a small team and I really want to break through in the GS and then I know that slalom will come as well. So, I mean. If I have to choose, I'd say I really love GS because it's kind of like for me, it's the basic of skiing. It's you have to have a certain technique and I like to really like carve and make uh, good angles. And I mean, that's what I enjoy doing. So I, I think there's yeah. like you have to be able to ski well in order to be fast, whereas slalom is very... Um, yeah, there's like a, it's it's something that you can really learn. Like it's you can yeah. train a lot of gates and and uh, gain experience. Like I've seen this with uh, Petra, uh, for example, because I've been training with her. She's she's yeah. like it doesn't matter even if she makes a little mistakes. She's so so strong on her skis. Whereas I can maybe do like four or five really good turns and I somehow get out of it and I then I lose time again. So uh, I think there's a, yeah, it's it's a bit different. So yeah, but in general, I like all disciplines. Perfect, perfect. We don't want to make this too long. So what would you like to say something in, uh, in conclusion? Um, follow, well, follow her on Instagram, follow her, of course, because you only got yeah, 2,500 
Yes. Yes. If if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then do so. If not, then then don't. But um, I'm gonna try to keep it up to date a bit. Uh, because I'm not so, <laughs> I'm not so active, but I'm I'm trying to. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the supports and nice nice comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for yeah. this interview. It was my first like interview on Instagram. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm pleased to do that with you. Yeah, <laughs> to be the one. And also, so we wish you all the best for future. Of course. Thank you. Thank Keep you. Keep up your much. positive vibes. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Keep up. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.